Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 10 on circles. This is Regusa number 9 and today's topic friends is this particular theorem that states tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius drawn through that point. So friends, this is going to be a super duper important theorem when it comes to circles and tangents. So you absolutely want to make sure that you understand what the theorem is and how do we prove this. So let's first look at the theorem. So let's first draw ourselves a circle. So I've drawn a circle and let's call the center uppercase O, circle with center O. We draw a tangent. So this line, line L, is a tangent which is drawn tangent to the circle with center O. Now we know that the definition of a tangent is that the tangent touches a circle at one and only one point. So in this case, this is the point. Let's say this point is P. So what the theorem is telling us is that the tangent at any given point of the circle, so in this case tangent at point P, is perpendicular to the radius drawn through that point. So how can I draw a radius through point P? We know that radius is basically nothing but any point on the circle and the center of a circle. So if we join OP, that will give us the radius through point P. So in this case, if I join O and P, this is the radius through point P. So now the theorem is telling us is that this particular angle must be 90 degrees. In other words, OP, which is the radius drawn through point P, this must be perpendicular to line L, which is the tangent. So the tangent at any point of the circle is perpendicular to the radius drawn through that point. So this is what the theorem is telling us. It's very important that you understand this and you will see enormous amount of application of this in the questions that we are going to solve on this in this series. So now let's see how do we prove it. So we have drawn a circle. Now let's draw a tangent. So here we have drawn a circle. Let's say the center is O and this point is P and this is our tangent. Now we are going to join O and P like this. Now what we are going to do friends is we are going to take any other point on this tangent other than P. So let's say we take a point like this and this point we are going to call it as Q. Right? This is any point on the tangent. Let's say this is our line L which is the tangent. We have taken a point Q such that point Q is on the line L and it is any point other than the point P. And now we will simply join O and Q like this. So at this point friends what we see is that if you compare OQ and PQ. So now one thing is that the definition of a tangent is that the tangent touches the circle at only one point. That means the common point between circle and tangent is P. So if I take any other point on line L which is not P, that point will be outside the circle because there is only one common point P between the line and the circle which is point P. So any other point must be outside the circle as shown over here, right? In other words, so here if I look at the length OQ, this will be equal to R, right, which is the radius. And let's say that this particular point over here is Q dash. So what we have is OQ, the length of OQ will be R plus Q, Q dash, right? Now, OP, OP is actually equal to the radius and OQ is radius plus something. That means that OQ is actually greater than OP. I mean, simply because OQ equals radius plus something extra, right? And OP is the radius. So always OQ will be more than OP. So this will be always true. In other words, if I take any number of points on the tangent such that these are points which is not P, any other point, all of the length of that point and the center of the circle, 
दे विल ऑलवेज बी ग्रेटर देन ओपी और इन अदर वर्ड्स ओपी विल बी द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट एंड द लाइन एंड वी नो दैट इफ ओपी इज द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट एंड द लाइन दैट मीन्स दिस एंगल मस्ट बी नाइंटी डिग्री I know, friends, that this particular theorem is a little bit more conceptual, so we want to make sure that you really follow this. So let's do one thing. Let's elaborate this a little bit more. So what I have what I have done done here is that I have drawn a straight line. Let's call this line M, and we have a point X. What we are going to do now, we are going to randomly pick some points on our line M, and then we are going to join each one of them with X. So let's start out by writing some of these points so here i have taken some points let's just name them this is a b c d e and f i have taken all these points just to explain you the concept now what we are going to do we are going to join each of these points with x it will look something like this so ax bx cx dx ex and fx so now if you look at if you look at each of these lengths that is if you look at ax bx cx dx ex ex and fx you will note that the shortest distance between x the shortest distance between x and the line m will be cx where this angle is 90 degrees meaning that it is always the perpendicular drawn from that point onto the straight line which is the shortest distance any other line where the angle is not 90 degrees some other angle right that will be greater that will not be the shortest distance between the point and the line the point and the line the shortest distance will be that if you draw a perpendicular then that will be the shortest so in other words if if i am given that cx is the shortest if cx is equal to shortest distance between the point x and the line m it automatically means that angle xcf is 90 degrees so this is how we can actually prove this particular theorem now that we have talked about it let's find out in the exam if this comes up how are you going to write this so you are going to write something like this first you have to write what is given to us so we have uh, we have been given a circle with center o any tangent ab is drawn it touches the circle say at point p so we are going to draw a tangent ab draw any tangent ab to the circle and circle is uh with center o and p is the point where the line ab is tangent to the circle right then we are going to write what is that we have to prove we have to prove that op is perpendicular op is perpendicular to ab that is what we have to prove we have to prove that this angle is 90 degrees this is what we have to prove then next we are going to write join op we have joined op now take any point on tangent ab other than p say q so now let's join then oq so here this point actually is q so i know that we called it b so assume b is basically the tangent ab is the tangent right so b can be any other point so this is a point q on the tangent ab and then we join o and q then we say that point q must lie outside the circle because tangent touches the circle only at one point because of that if p is the point where the line and the circle touch each other any other point on the tangent must be outside the circle right so from here so point q so i think let's write it here circle center o now this is the point p this is a point q and let's just say that these are a and b a and b 
right? So the point Q must lie outside the circle because the tangent touches the circle at only one point, which is P. And because of this, OQ must be greater than the radius of the circle or radius of the circle is R, which is OP. OP is R, which is the radius of the circle. So if OQ is greater than the radius of the circle, we can say OQ is greater than OP. So then note that the line drawn from center of the circle to any point on the tangent other than P is longer than OP. So if you take any other point on the tangent, so the line joining the center and that point will be always greater than OP. Or in other words, we can say that OP is going to be the shortest distance. If OP is the shortest distance, it means that angle OPA, OPA should be equal to angle OPB and both should be 90 degrees. That means this angle and this angle are 90 degrees. And hence we say that OP is indeed perpendicular to AB. So friends, this is how we prove that the tangent and the radius drawn at the point where the tangent touches the circle, the, these two straight lines are always perpendicular to each other, each other one another.